All right. So over here is an example I did with the last class. What we did was a gingerbread guy, and he's photobombing the picture, and that's exactly what we're doing. Now, before we get started on the blank sheet of paper, uh, I just want to explain to you guys your options. Uh, you can either do like an indoor scene like how I did. So I did like um, one with like a fireplace, and you could have like added a tree or something in the back. Or instead of having the gingerbread guy photobombing an indoor picture, you can also have your gingerbread guy photobombing something that we learned in the previous year. So what I mean by that is that I taught you guys in kindergarten, first grade, and second grade how to do gingerbread house. So in kindergarten, I taught you guys how to draw a simple one with like candy canes on the side, and then you could just see the front. In first grade, I taught you guys how to draw a gingerbread house where you can see the front of the gingerbread house and also the side of the building. So you could do that for your gingerbread uh, photobomb. Or last year in second grade, I taught you guys how to draw a more advanced one. So this is the most advanced one. And it's basically, you can see the front, the sides, and also the back of the gingerbread house, okay? So you have a couple options here. Right? So what I do, you wanna make sure you have a blank sheet of paper like how I have right here, okay? And then again, I highly suggest you do this in pencil first, um, but I'm gonna do it in marker just so you guys can see it a tad bit. Okay, all right, so with that said, here we go. So the first step, when you're drawing the gingerbread's uh, head, you wanna make sure you're not going too far in the middle. If you go too far in the middle, you will be um, covering a lot of the picture and you don't want that to happen. So you wanna make sure when you're doing this, go on the bottom corner and do it at a very decent size. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw a circle, but not complete it towards where the neck would be. So notice how it's kind of like an at an angle. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle either. Okay. Taylor, what's up? I see your hand up. Are we able to do something other than a gingerbread man? What did you have in mind, Taylor? Maybe an elf or a Santa? Sure, why not? <laughs> Go ahead. All right, for those of us who want to do a gingerbread guy, this is what I would do. I would do maybe him winking, that'd be kind of cute. So I'm gonna do one eye right here, nice and large. And then in order for him to wink, it is made out of icing, so I'm gonna to have to do two curves and connect them at the ends like this. That way it looks like you're actually making the gingerbread guy. Um, you can kind of do a smile like this. I'm gonna do mine a little bit smaller than the last one. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit more of a cute smile because I think the last one is a little bit larger, just like this. And then I'm gonna make mine a little bit smaller like that because I think it's cuter. All right, with that said, I'm gonna make the arms, kind of like teddy bear arms, kinda. So one right here and one on this side. And once you're done with the arms, super simple, all you gotta do is draw a diagonal lines heading towards the corner for the body. There we go. That way I don't have to do the feet. Now, let's add some decorations on the actual body itself. I'm gonna create wavy lines on both arms to symbolize its wrists getting decorated with icing. So one right there, and then a couple lines right here. And then just like how they say in Shrek, the movie, I'm gonna add gumdrops on the center. I'm gonna add three. There we go. Now, that's my gingerbread guy. Uh, this next part is optional. And so if you don't want to make a gingerbread three-dimensional, you don't have to, but this is how I would do it. Now, in order to make the gingerbread three-dimensional, you're going to go on the top of the head and follow the curve to the left, and then you're going to meet him or meet the line at his arm right around there. So now the head's 3D. And then to make the hand 3D, all you're going to do is go from the top of the hand and follow the curve going down and around. And then instead of connecting to the body, I'm gonna follow that line diagonally, just like so. And then for this arm right here, you can just kind of go to the left and then get towards the head. And ta-da, now your gingerbread is more 3D. Um, there's only a couple more places where you can make 3D. Maybe you can make the gumdrops 3D by making a small curve on the outside of them. Well, that's pretty much it. You can't really make the icing 3D. I mean, I guess you could, but it would look kind of odd. 
All right, there you go. So I just made my gingerbread more three-dimensional, okay? All right, now, while the gingerbread is done, and hopefully it didn't take too much space, hopefully it didn't put it too far in the middle, uh, again, your options are you can do like a simple gingerbread house, or you can do more like a more of like a medium house, like um, first grade did right here. So there's a the medium one, where you can see like the front and the side. You guys remember how to do that? So the medium one is kind of like um, two um, candy canes on the side, and then a second, a third candy cane on the back. And then last year I taught you guys how to do the uh, more advanced one. There it is. So remember, you just do two front ones basically, and then you kind of connect them with like a dividing line. I taught you guys that last year. But for those of us who want to do something different, we could do an interior design. So here is uh, my inside of the house. So I did my fireplace, and I think I might do the exact same one, but change it up a little bit. So it's up to you to decide what you want to do. So for those of us who want to follow along, I'm going to do an inside of the house. So I'm going to draw a straight line from here to the head. And then I'm going to try to keep going on the other side of the gingerbread house, or gingerbread guy, because he is photobombing. So he's in my way. All right, I'm going to draw the fireplace. I'm going to draw the top of the fireplace. I'm going to draw probably a little bit higher up than usual. So I'm going to draw the top of the fireplace. And the reason why I didn't get to draw um, stockings on the other one is because I have it in marker. So I'm going to try to draw stockings now. So maybe a couple diagonal rectangles here. And then I'm going to draw the socks. Here we go. Nice and big. Maybe too big, actually. There you go. And then I can draw the side of the fireplace. And then again, my gingerbread's in the way. Draw the opening of the fireplace. Mine's going to be curved. And it's kind of overlapping where the sock is. OK. I'm going to do an inner one. And the reason why I'm doing that is so I can do stripes to symbolize bricks going around my fireplace like that. If you want to draw a fire on the inside, you can. Just going to draw random rectangles to symbolize wood. If it wants to be lit up, you can. I'm just going to draw random wavy lines going up and down or zigzags. OK. And then I think I'm going to add something different this time. I think I'm going to add curtains on the side here. So hopefully this looks a lot better than my last one. I'm not sure. And I'm going to add a window. So here's the window ledge, and here is the insides of the window. If I really wanted to, I guess I could draw the outside if I really wanted to, but I don't think I will. If you want to decorate with maybe like a tree, you can. So here's a zigzag. And again, he's photobombing, so I can't really draw that much. All right. And again, I'm kind of rushing, but you guys can do your own thing. All right, the time now is 11.25. You still have about five minutes left. I'm going to add more decorations here and there. Maybe a rug or a dog laying down or a coffee table for those of us who are doing an interior scene. Maybe some candles here and there. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll do a mini tree, I guess. All right, I think I'm pretty much done with my drawing. And that's it. So mine's a little bit more detailed than my previous one. So again, this is why I did the previous class. I had kind of like a clock, a photo frame on top of the fireplace, and then a window. 
And then the one I did with you guys, I kind of made it a lot larger so I can fit more things, add in more detail. And that's it. All right, if you are done early, uh, just keep working on it. Can I add more detail? Could, so we'll upgrade. Could and then in a little bit, we are going to share by holding that to the camera, just like how uh, Isabel's doing. If you want to show it early, you can. I see um, Ivy's holding up hers too. All right, at this time, uh, regardless if you're done or not, it's optional. If you want to share yours with the class, just hold it up to the camera, and that way we can all see. Good job, everyone. I'm going to stop the recording just so to make sure it goes to my folder.